Libra. Green Eyes says it like that. Shout out to Green Eyes from Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. One of my favorite readers. Welcome to tonight's ooh, evening spread for you, Libra. And if it resonates for the collective too, and you're not a Libran, that's okay. You're welcome also. Your energy is always welcome here. And if this reading resonates with you, then it is for you. That's how tarot works, and that's how the cards work. So today we're going to do messages from your angels, and we're also going to do a special evening read. I felt really compelled. I, I lit this candle like four hours ago still going because I was filming other videos and I felt so energized today. I was like, there's a message. There's an overall message. There's messages from the spirit world. Um, in Cancer's reading, the light blew out, which you guys will see on Tuesday. If you have Cancer in your sun, moon, or rising, it's very interesting. And that reading, um, it spoke to my moon side a lot because mine is in Cancer. And I felt a lot of it resonated. Like as I was doing the reading, I was like, oh my God, this is going on with me right now. Like, holy crap, Zoid. So we're gonna get started today. Your ancestors, Libras, uh, definitely were knocking on my door today. <laughs> and as I woke up, it was a beautiful Sunday. I had planned to go to church. Um, I'm Catholic by religion, but I've, I follow the obviously the spirit world because I feel like messages can be seen in tarot that religion can't really provide. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Um, I felt like Libran spirits and angels were working really hard today. And yeah, <laughs> I, I knock on the deck because like I feel it in my heart. I'm like, they're here and um, they want to definitely help out in your life. So we're going to do that. We're going to do three oracle and then we're going to do your evening spread so whatever's coming out tonight for libra um like i said if you're not a libran and you're something else like you're a scorpio or you're a cancer or sag or leo you're welcome because at some point there is some resonance and you can take it and whatever's left obviously isn't for you welcome back to libra light i'm ari first message is out from your guides that one was coming out Messages from Libra's angels. Whoa, okay. We're gonna get one more for Libra. No reversals today. One more for the Libra born in October and September. I forget there's Librans in September. I always forget that. Libra's angels. Bottom of the deck, Spirit says. Let's go with that first. We have Dog, bark, dog. Let's read it and then I'll explain. Be your own best friend. Okay, earlier today I turned on the camera and I was like, I don't really wanna wear a lot of makeup today because I do like, you know, I do extra foundation and all that. Something told me to be very, very natural today. Not that other days I come on here and I want to wear a lot of makeup or anything or overdress. I wanted to come off in a way where I did the readings today and I did a lot. I filmed like six. You'll see them spread out throughout the week. I felt very compelled to come off natural because I feel like when you look at Libran's like natural nature with the scales, <laughs> I feel like Libras are just so, they're such sweethearts. Like down to the core, they're very soft and very angelic people. My dad is a Libra, okay? I was born like a few days apart from my, my father, different years, obviously. My dad is like one of the sweetest people, like will give the shirt off his back, will give you food if you come on in and you don't even know him. Very giving. Dogs are like that in our life, aren't they? They give back to us. I got chills. Dogs are like that. They're very, very loyal. They're very sweet, depending on what kind of dog you have. My brother had a pit bull for like 15 years. She was the sweetest thing I ever knew. Her name was Missy. That got me. 
Um, hmm. Dogs are so beautiful and loyal, and I think we all want this. Why did I cry? Um, the loyalty. We all want this loyalty in our life. I'm sorry. And even for me, per se, being a Libra son, I love, like, watching old couples go to the park. I love the loyalty of, like, seeing two little best friends hold hands, like two little seven-year-olds or something. Um, or I like seeing, like, the old lady walking across the street and there's this, like, you know, loyal in nature guy running to help her. Loyalty comes in so many gift boxes, just to say. I think your guides are saying that you could either be that for yourself or it's already around you. This person or this entity that is your best friend is around you. Next oracle, email. Gmail. <laughs> You've got mail. Do you remember that from like the 90s if you had AOL? Have you been living that long? <laughs> this is saying be mindful of the messages you send. Let's talk. When you send a letter out per se, or you send a text, let's go with that because it's that's more millennial, right? Text, um, if you have to send a work email, if you have to send one to your clients or your, um, your coworkers, right? School, if you have to send out an email to your teacher, we always have an end game, right? To our message. I feel like with this, sometimes we send out the wrong body language, like I'm getting more physicality, physical. Email can be anything that you're expressing in life. This card isn't just about like on the nets, on the internet. This could be how you express yourself. This could be what you're sending out. What's the vibe? If you're sending out negativity, if you're sending out positivity on your daily, correct? Pay attention to here, like if you look, blue is the color of truth. And there's like a little bit of like, as the light reflects, there's almost like a butterfly. Do you see that? Butterfly effect. That's what I'm gonna call this reading, the butterfly effect. If you guys have know a little bit about that, I'll say what the overall message is of that. Okay, or you could look it up. That would be better, because then you'd learn on your own. Shopping. Shopping, last oracle from your guides and angels. Pay attention to what energizes you. Aha! Discussion. <laughs> For me lately, like, I used to be someone who always played music. I sing. Um, I was practicing scales on Friday, which is a technique you do with your voice where you practice all the octaves on the piano, as if you know if you're a singer. I was practicing and I was like, I haven't done this so long. Like, I feel like my vocal cords are tearing <laughs> because I had posted it to Snapchat, like my whole scale, like whole practice. And I loved the feeling it gave me on Friday when I was just, I snapped it on, on the Snapchat and I felt so different. Like, I was like, why haven't I been singing in a really long time? That would have really cleared up the mood there. <laughs> so I think that'll help. Um, if you just, we had email shopping can, doesn't mean like physically shopping at a mall because we don't have them anymore after COVID-19. I think this just means to pay attention overall, like what the hell energizes you? Could be coffee. could be Starbucks. <laughs> I'm joking, but it can be anything. If you're a serious Libra and watching, this is just anything that makes your heart sing. Really? Like I could hear a little tear makes your heart sing. If you want, I'll put the transcript below and I'll put like the keywords of this reading because I, I really feel like there's a Libra here who has not heard the sound of her or his voice in a long time. And that could be message, you know? Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's get one more Oracle for Libra for tonight's evening read. One more Oracle card. Spirit says top of the deck will be the winner, chicken dinner. Let's go now. <laughs> Dance. One of my favorite from this oracle. There's lots of female energy dancing here. I'll read it to you. It says, 
move to the rhythm of your soul. You guys remember Gloria Estefan? She's like, come on, baby, move it. Dun, 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 da, 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 that one. <laughs> Whoa, I really need coffee today. The um, come on, baby. What was it? It's like, come on, baby, move that conga. Or <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know. That song kind of like came to me when I held like the energy of this particular tarjeta card. This, that song is playing the Gloria Estefan one of like move your body, let it shake, let it hang. Um, I think your soul needs revivement from like your outside world right now as this week comes to a close and we go into March, um, the end of March this coming week, it's the 20th through the 27th. I definitely think there's a Libra here who like, like I said with this card, you haven't heard the sound of your voice. You haven't energized yourself in a long time. For instance, just to give you an example, I hadn't painted in like five years. So the other day I was doing an oil painting. This was late at night, had some serious insomnia, and I painted a picture that I'll probably post on here. It was so crazy because it was legit one of the best ones I've ever done and that it's just it goes with your emotions it goes with how you're feeling um if there's a Libra here too let's been a caged bird you you know what I'm talking about where you need that exposure and you you know like what you need to do to feel good you know if that is a girl's night out you know if that's a boy's night out if you're a male here and um let's get one more I feel like there's so many attributes that Libras don't touch on, but they have, right? Like we have so many um, different facets to ourselves, but there's no exploring. Sometimes I find that very sad. I do because there's so much potential. One more message from the ancestors of Libra. One more solid message. Spirit will say this is top of the deck. I'm hearing pick the top one for the last one. We might have two. Let's go with one more. Message for Libra, Sunday, March 20. Sunday, March 20, Spirit. What does Libra need to hear? That was that was the one peeking out. So I won't go with top of the deck, but we'll, we'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. We have cat and house. Yeah, cat and house. Okay, so we're going to explain right now colors and just the overall vibage. Cat. It reads, take care of yourself. Trust that if you do, you'll always land on your feet. Nine lives, right? There is a beautiful woman here in a blue dress holding a cat. It looks like a cat personally that my mom had. Um, my mom used to love kittens. That's so freaking scary because my mom was like a cat freak. <laughs> um, this is so touching because I feel like if you always have been that Libran that like every time you fell in life, really fell hard, this could mean so much because what is the takeaway? You always survive, right? Correct? There's the survival. Um, with house here, with this Oracle card, there's lots of, I feel like Da Vinci. Do you get that too? Like the paintings in the Sistine Chapel in Paris, or is it, where, where is it? Can someone write in the comments where the Sistine Chapel is? I think it's in France. This is giving me like those things in the cathedral, the paintings that took years to perfect. Or maybe it's Michelangelo. It was Michelangelo. I'm sorry. But it, nevertheless, that style. Come home to the residence of your soul resonance. Hmm. So this could be right now for a Libra who uh, hasn't connected in a long time with family. Okay. So this is like you've been estranged, possibly. It could be that you haven't spent enough time lately. And if I trigger in the in this reading, I don't mean to. Okay, if it's triggering you, it's probably for good reason. Um, 
some people, you know, they don't like like how honest you are if you do a reading and they're like, I'm triggered, <laughs> turn it off. Sometimes if you're triggered, it's telling you something, my dear. And I definitely think that uh, house and home, like if this resonates and then the cat, these are two domestic things, right? In your Oracle today, this is my, might be the grounding that you actually need. And they popped out for a reason and they're both domestic cards, correct? So let's move on. We're going to do, I have like five different cards now. So we're going <laughs> to, what the hell? We're going to do, let's do light seers for um, more messages tonight. Let's do four cards for your evening read. Then we'll close it out with a quote. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll channel a quote for sure. I'll get a good one. I promise you. I almost guarantee it. <laughs> for Libra, energies for tonight, energies for Libra tonight. March 20, like today, Sunday was a, such a beautiful day. Um, I drove up to this top of the mountain where there's a small lake, a smaller lake, not the one I go to. And, um, so gorgeous like just the mountaintop you know and the animals there there's like free roaming lizards i love the cormorans there's more cormorans where i was so peaceful i'm so content and i think most of you guys feel content tonight if i might say this one's coming out i'm gonna tell you okay just give me a second one more for libra two more for libra i'm sorry Mm, 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 mm. I'm getting like right now, I'm seeing as I was shuffling, I saw Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> like just the, the mask and the makeup that Robin Williams, but I don't know why. If Mrs. Doubtfire means anything to you guys in your life right now or just the movie. Okay, it's ready. So let's go. Just four for tonight for the evening read. Okay. The reason why I smiled earlier is because the emperor came out and this dude, there's two guys here. I know what you're thinking. Intuitively, do you want to know what I'm thinking? Are we going there? Okay. So intuitively, I feel like this is new love. Unfortunately, if you didn't want to hear that, I feel like this is new love. I feel like this is for a Libra female who is currently dating either an Aries fellow, because this is Aries energy. And I also feel that, excuse me, I'm like sweating. Um, Knight of Cups, Cancer energy, Scorpio. Okay. I feel like this person does want to gift you something. I do feel like they are coming fast. Probably this week. This could also be... One second. I'm going to turn that off real quick. Be right back. Or you know what? I'll let it pass. I've been filming a while and I don't want to disrupt it. So I'll answer it later. Meaning. And sorry. Um, confirmation. The call. And where was I? They're coming in fast. This is like somebody who has a crush on you, Libra. Five of Swords, we have Confusion. This could be you or them on you. I also get like confusion whether you should let go. Okay, so take that how, how it resonates. Page of Swords, we got that this in another reading this week. This is youthful energy with your knowledge, spreading the knowledge in a fun and fanciful way. I'm gonna have to close out this evening reading so soon. I'm sorry, I have to take this call and I'll be back with, I promise you, a better one tomorrow morning. I'm so sorry I have to cut it short. Um, let's get another oracle before I go because I do have to take that call. For Libra, I feel rushed now. I'm gonna do it like this. bottom of the deck computer 
computer. It reads, upgrade your mental software. Pay attention this week with the, with the Knight of Cups, not King of Cups, this guy. If you do have like a energy around you of a crush or somebody, um, upgrade your mental software with the computer. Make sure everything's in line. Dress nice, look the part. I think also with this computer card, it's saying be prepped. I'm hearing be prepped, look the part. It's saying upgrade your mental software. It could also be upgrade yourself, Libra. If you haven't gotten your nails done in a long time, bought a dress, done your hair. I truly believe that if you do that, um, I believe this new love and this new experience could be quite fruitful. Um, that's all for today. I'm going to go take the call. I'll have a way better reading. I, I truly am sorry about the phone call, but maybe it was a confirmation. I'll see you tomorrow.